Welcome to a live broadcast from Streams International Prophetic Church. Streams International Prophetic Church, for those hungry for more. Here at Streams International Prophetic Church, you will experience prophetic revelational teachings, personal prophecies, healing, deliverance, breakthrough, heavenly worship, passionate prayer, love, acceptance and fellowship. Your life will never be the same again. Streams International Prophetic Church was established in 2007 in Townsville. The ministry has now expanded within Australia, the APAC region and the globe. You can find our campuses in Townsville, Brisbane, Adelaide, Sydney and Port Moresby. Prophet Gerald Nyasulu was called by God with an audible voice on the 7th of February 1997 to preach the gospel to the nations. Prophet Gerald Nyasulu is a seasoned teacher of the Word of God. You will receive mind-blowing prophetic revelations and your life will be transformed under his ministry. Our live broadcast will commence shortly. As we await, please share this broadcast on your Facebook pages. Like our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash streams dot international and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And here is our live broadcast. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. It's blessed to be together in the house again. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Well, this is the Friday of the raising of altars. Amen. Who's excited about the topic this evening? Amen. Can't wait. Yeah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So, good evening, everybody online, wherever you're tuning in from. Please feel welcome. We thank you for joining us uh, this evening, wherever it is on YouTube, Facebook, or Zoom, whatever it is. There is no thing impossible for our, for our God. Amen. So, please join together with us, sing with us, pray with us, rejoice with us. Amen. And expect something to happen this evening, the Friday of the raising of altars. So, last week we dealt with the evil altars. Praise the Lord, and that, uh, ano the anointing and the revelation was amazing. But praise the Lord, there's, there's always something new from God, amen? It's never, ever the same. Can I have an amen? amen? Praise the Lord. So please rise, we'll just invite the Holy Spirit in. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And please, uh, just let the Lord hear your voice tonight. Say, O oh Lord. O oh Lord. We thank you. We thank you. For this night. For this night. Of prayer. Of prayer. In Streams International. In Streams International. And O oh Lord. And O oh Lord. We thank you. We thank you. For the Friday. For the Friday. Of the raising. Of the raising. Of altars. Of altars. Lord. Lord. Let the Holy Ghost take over. Let the Holy Ghost take over. Our mind. Our mind. Our hearts. Our hearts. And our tongues. And our tongues. Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. I submit all. I submit all. Of my flesh. Of my flesh. My heart. My heart. My mind. My mind. And my tongue. And my tongue. Unto you. Unto you. Have your way. Have your way. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Pray through me. Pray through me. Intercede through me. Intercede through me. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Pray, 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 pray. Heavenly Father, dear Lord, Lord, we thank you for allowing us to come before you this evening, Lord God. Lord, take all of me, Lord God, and give me more of you, Holy Spirit. Have your way tonight. Pray through me. Intercede through me. Oh, Lord God, hear my cry tonight, oh Lord. Oh Lord, touch touch me tonight, Lord God. Let there be a divine exchange tonight, Lord God. Oh Lord, just have your way tonight, Lord God. Hear our voices tonight, Lord God. Hear our singing, Lord. Our praise, Lord God. Our worship tonight, Lord God. Hear our prayers tonight, Lord God. Let our prayer, O Lord, be a sweet-smelling incense unto your nostrils, Lord God. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. And everybody said, praise the Lord. Give the Lord a hand. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. 
listen to the Lord this evening. We are Shalom family, just stand to someone next to you. Give a smile and just give a high five. Hallelujah. Say welcome into the presence of God this evening as we're about to celebrate the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Welcome our viewers tonight. We welcome you all. Hallelujah. Let's give him praise. Hallelujah. We welcome you, Jesus. I'm the salt of the earth. I'm the salt of the earth. I carry a flavor of God upon the earth. I'm the salt of the earth. I'm the salt of the earth. I'm the salt of the earth. Yes, I carry a flavor of God upon the earth. I'm the salt. The song goes, I am the salt of the earth. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. As we're going to sing again tonight, oh, yes. sing to the Lord and declare, yes, we are the salt of the earth. Praise the Lord. Woo! Ooh, I'm the salt yeah, of the earth. I'm the salt of the earth. I carry a flavor of God. I'm the salt. your light and let's just praise the Lord together. Declare we are the light of the world this evening. Come on family, sing. Declare I'm the light of the world. Woo! Against me, I, I live to dominate. We live to dominate. I 
Hallelujah, hallelujah. Wow, it's so good to be here tonight. Amen. Amen. Shalom, everybody. Friday of raising altars. Amen. Are we ready? We are ready. So first and foremost, I just want to honor the grace and the anointing upon this house. So I want you to turn to your neighbor. Ask your neighbor, are you ready to raise an altar tonight? Amen. Neighbor, are you ready for raising altars tonight? Hallelujah. Amen. I'm glad that the answer is yes. So, one thing that I've observed in this house is that and whenever Papa wants to introduce a concept or teach a concept, he often goes back to the beginning. So what I did was I just put the word altar in my Bible app, right? And I actually discovered that the very first altar that was ever built or that was ever raised and mentioned in the Bible was actually found in Genesis 8, 20 to 22, which was the altar that was raised by Noah. So media, if you don't mind putting up that, yeah, thank Amen. you. Amen. It's always good to go back to the beginning, isn't it? Amen. Oh, yes. All right, uh, you please read. Amen. Three, two, one. And Noah builded an altar unto the Lord and took of every clean beast and of every clean fowl and offered burnt offerings on the altar. Amen. Keep going here. And the Lord smelled a sweet savor, and the Lord said in his heart, I will not again curse the ground any more for man's sake, for the imagination of man's heart is evil from his youth. Neither will I again smite any more everything living as I have said going 22 <laughs> Amen. while the earth remaineth seed time and harvest and cold and heat and summer and winter and day and night shall not cease amen hallelujah on amen that right so for those of you who are familiar with Noah's story so this happened right after the flood and when he got out of the ark amen and straight after that uh, the next person who actually built an altar after him was actually abraham and he built four other altars and subsequent to that was isaac and jacob now when i was reading the scriptures i was very interested like what actually triggered them to raise an altar so after reading the scriptures, I actually observed a couple of patterns, yeah? And the first pattern was there was actually a significant event. As you can tell that in the days of Noah, the entire mankind was wiped out in a flood, right? Only, his, only him and his immediate family that was spared. And after that, he actually built an altar or raised an altar for the Lord, amen? amen? And the second observation that I had was Abraham. And in his case, the Lord appeared to him. So when he had a divine encounter with the Lord, he actually built or raised an altar, and what is fascinating, the third observation that I had was that this is not all the time, but sometimes or most times I would say, after an altar is built, after an altar is raised, God often makes a covenant or make a promise to the person who raised an altar. Oh, yes. So in the story of, and for those of us who have been following Papa's teachings, he was talking about different covenants, right? So there was one time there was, uh, he mentioned about the Noahic covenant. So in this case, uh, when, when Noah raised an altar and gave the sacrifice, and when the Lord smelled the sweet aroma or the oh, sweet yes. savor, the Bible says, that's when he actually proclaimed, while the earth remained, seed, time, and harvest, cold and heat, summer and winter, and day and night shall not cease. And with Abraham as well. So what happened was after he raised an altar, God made an Abrahamic covenant where he promised to give him the land and also made, turn him into a great nation. So in those days, raising an altar was a serious business. Amen. So tonight I want us to pray as we go through this series of raising altars. You know, all these different covenants, I want us to pray that the covenant that is made available to us as a child of God must be established in our lives. Amen? Oh, and yes. every promise that God has made to us in our lives, they must come into fulfillment. So Amen. say after me, O oh Lord, oh Lord, as I raise an altar tonight, as I raise an altar tonight, let every covenant let every covenant that is made available to me as a child of God that is made available to me as a child of God be established in my life be established in my life oh Lord oh Lord as I raise an altar tonight as I raise an altar tonight let every promise that you have made in my life let every promise that you've made in my life come into fulfillment in Jesus mighty name begin come to pray into fulfillment begin to raise your voice to Sakaraba. 
Rabba soro bahaya na saka Rabba sara bara 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 soko roba haya na saka Rabba sererere kiri Rabba soko roba haya na saka Rabba sererere se kiri Rabba haya ne pray 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 Rabba saya lakai manda Rabba saya lakai teri shanda Rabba sanda rente kia lakai rakati rakata ya lakai teri shanda Rabba saya rokoto ya lakoi ya kanda Rabba saya manda Rabba saya lakanda Rabba Rabba baki ya lakoto Oh Heavenly Father dear Lord as I raise this altar tonight Lord God let me be accessible Lord God to every covenant that you've promised in my life Lord God in Jesus mighty name we pray Amen. Amen Genesis 28 10 to 19 media please thank you and if you can read this is a long one so please follow through okay Amen. Three, two, one. And Jacob went out from Bathsheba and went toward Haran. And he lighted upon a certain place and tarried there all night because the sun was set. And he took of the stones of that place and put them for his pillows and lay down in that place to sleep. And he dreamed and behold, a ladder set up on the earth and the top of it reached to heaven. And behold, the angels of God ascending and descending on it. And behold, the Lord stood above it and said, I am the Lord, God of Abraham thy father, and the God of Isaac. The land whereon thou liest, to thee will I give it, and to thy seed. And thy seed shall be as the dust of the earth, and thou shalt spread abroad to the west, and to the east, and to the north, and to the south, and in thee and in thy seed shall all the families of the earth be blessed. And behold, I am with thee, and will keep thee in all places whither thou goest, and will bring thee again into this land, for I will not leave thee until I have done that which I have spoken to thee of. And Jacob awaked out of his sleep, and he said, Surely the Lord is in this place, and I knew it not. And he was afraid and said, How dreadful is this place! This is none other but the house of God, and this is the gate of heaven. And Jacob rose up early in the morning and took the stones that he had put for his pillows and set it up for a pillar and poured oil upon the top of it. And he called the name of that place Bethel, but the name of that city was called Luz at the first. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Right. So the background of this story is that Jacob was fleeing for his life. So straight after he stole the birthright from Esau, he just ran for his life, right? So for, for some of us who have been around for a while, I think a couple of years ago, there was a time when Papa was teaching on a topic of altar against altar. It was one Sunday. And he actually made a reference to this scripture. Okay. And if the or media, if you don't mind putting up verse 12 again, please. So he actually said that an altar is actually a ladder that connects earth to heaven. An altar is a portal, a channel of communication that opens the realm of the spirit. I mean, that alone is like, wow, you know. So in fact, an altar is an avenue for angels that they are looking for so that they can ascend and descend. Amen. According to that scripture there, verse 12. And in fact, in verse 17, Jacob actually said that this is the gate of heaven. So I want us to have this revelation that every time when we raise an altar, don't just go like, ah, I'm raising an altar. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. <laughs> I mean, it's a good starting point, but we need to have a revelation. Amen. Every time an altar is, uh, is it's like, every time we raise an altar, we pretty much open up a channel to the realm of the Spirit where we can pretty much access an open heaven right above us here, right above us where the angels will ascend with your prayer petition and descend bringing the answers to your prayers. Amen? So I want us to have that revelation that when we pray tonight, that whenever an altar is raised, there is a heightened activity that's oh, yes. taking place. There's a heightened spiritual activity taking place because the angels are busy going up and down. 
Right, doing the job for us. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. Amen. So let's pray. Say, Oh Lord. Oh Lord. As I raise an altar tonight. As I raise an altar tonight. Let me walk in the reality of an open heaven in my life. Let me walk in the reality of an open heaven pray, pray, in my pray. life. Pray, pray, pray. Da payara mazeke lehenda rakataya zete eza la handia o bralia mahanda rikataya zeke leveheza randa la mazike e bralia zeta azika andia zerete leheza o la mazia kevra aliazata keleveheza randa la mazike in Jesus mighty name we pray amen say oh lord oh lord with the revelation that I'm living under an open heaven. With a revelation that I'm living under an open heaven. I decree and I declare. I decree and I declare. That every prayer petition that I have. That every prayer petition that I have. Especially the stubborn ones. Especially the stubborn ones. They must be answered tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. They must be answered tonight. Begin to pray. Lift your voice, people. Let God hear your voice. Fire your prayer. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Our last prayer. Now. There is no altar without a sacrifice. Amen. Amen. So I know that we've been prepared to bring our seed offering. But tonight I want to talk about a slightly different kind of sacrifice. And I believe that when we offer this up, right, as we raise an altar tonight, there will be a massive breakthrough in our lives. Oh, yes. Amen. So Hebrews 13, 15, please, media. Thank you. I'll read this one. By him, therefore, let us offer the sacrifice of praise to God continually. That is the fruit of our lips, giving thanks to his name. Now, I must say that it's easy to praise God when everything is going smooth, right? Like when you get good report, you're in a season of harvest, hallelujah, praise the Lord. But it's quite a different story, you know, when everything in your life is falling apart. When you get a bad report, you know, whether it's sickness, whether it's financial issues, marital issues, you know, we must admit that we live in a broken world. Like even when we are trying to do the right thing, bad things still happen to good people, right? Amen. But you know what? That in that scenario, when you are facing those things, oh yes, praise becomes a sacrifice. Amen? Oh yes. So there was this particular time in my life when I was going through such a hard time, you know, and it got to a point where I just said to the Lord, I said, Lord, just leave me alone. <laughs> it was too difficult. I couldn't handle it. But you know what? At that time, the Holy Spirit, sorry, the Holy Spirit whispered in my ear, and He said to me. If you are willing to praise me right now in your tears and in your pain, oh, yes. you'll be slapping the devil on the face. And I was like, what? Power. I was like, wow, you know. So when I had that revelation, I really realized that, you know, when we go through a season of darkness, right, the enemy will look for every opportunity for you to partner with him so that you can go down the path of destruction. But we thank God that if we choose God's path, we'll be on the path of recovery. Oh, Amen? Yes. So on that night, you know, when I was like, oh my gosh, I was so messed up, right? So tears were falling down my cheeks. And, but I just lifted up my hand and I said, Lord, I will praise you no matter what. I'll lift up the name of Jesus. Oh, yes. I thank you that you're greater than my pain. I thank you that you're greater than my situation. You know, as I kept going, you know, something just happened in my spirit. As I kept going, I should receive a breakthrough. Because remember, my heart was so cold. I was so ready to just like God too much for me, you know? But as I kept praising and praising and praising, something just broke. It was almost like the ice that was covering my eye, my heart was broken. And then my eye, by then, my heart was open and tender to receive the ministry of the Lord. Amen. Amen. And that was the beginning of my healing. So praise is such a powerful thing. So tonight, as we raise an altar, oh, yes. I want us to raise a sacrifice of praise. Amen. I Hallelujah. don't know what you're going through today. Praise might be difficult for you. But tonight is your night. Amen. Oh, tonight yes. is your night. So as we pray, we must resist our breakthrough. 
So let us pray. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. As I raise an altar tonight. As I raise an altar tonight. I bring to you a sacrifice of praise. I bring to you a sacrifice of praise. Which is the fruit of my lips. Which is the fruit of my lips. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. As I choose to praise you. As I choose to praise you. Regardless of my feelings. Regardless of my feelings. Regardless of my circumstances. Regardless of my circumstances. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Grant me the spirit of breakthrough. Grant me the spirit of breakthrough. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let's pray. Let's persevere, church. Persevere. Lift up your voice. Receive your breakthrough tonight. Receive your breakthrough tonight. Praise your wonder. Praise his wonderful name right now. I praise you, oh God. I praise you. It doesn't matter what I go through right now. I praise your wonderful name. I exalt the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I exalt you, Lord. I exalt you, Lord. Grant us the spirit of breakthrough right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. I will now hand it over to the worship team. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Give the Lord a hand, everyone. Thank you, Ambassador Veli, for that powerful prayer. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Can we all just rise up on our feet, please? <laughs>
Yeshua, your name is above all names. Name above all names. You are worthy of our praise. You are worthy of our praise. And my heart will sing. And my heart will sing. Lift up your voices, worship and give him praise, give him praise, worship him. Worship, come lift up your voices, worship him. Long Rabo Shatarabba Seteriazo, Maradaba Kahaste de Vekinderia Bandaraba Soto, Monte de Boshekeria Kuska, Ribayaz, the Hesteric Escahanda La Masia, Raka Sakataya Mande de Rebo Soto Yama. Don grabo shata yan terebe seteri arabasaya raka yan terebe kindo pando saka manda arabasuku kura na boshaka yen terebe zeria hazu raka dos karaba kende shata manda araba rapa kata araba has terebe kende yarababa lenduro pana rwanda boshaka kunde rebo salia has taraba kaza raka taya mandele rebo soria kunteri hazi lenderebe shata mandele yamama raka tarama kiste has terebe kende yarababa zonto Robo Panda Kulebo Shataba, Rapa Yan Terebe Seria Konda Rabazia, Andaraba Shata Maman Teberebe Senteri and Dalala Mama Ropo Sondoro Panda Kulan Terebe, Lembaraba Shata Makabaya Zanaman Derebe, Lengrebe Shata Babazun Terebe Sele Konderia Bona, Raman Deria Hastaraba Kandaraba, Raba Senterebe Shata Konderia Basu, Robo Kunte Mosta Handa Vana Silia Pestem, Reze Hestekita Hastala Kisto, Lonta Shata Manda. Pay, Redeske, Tarahasta Labakindo, Longra Vandaman, Terebe Kerianoska, Lando Samanto, Ketoya Panuata Pariese, Len Tarabashaka Talaman de Lerebo, Rongrebo Senterebe Kondoriabara, Ramazante de Rebekanda Yanamama, Rapazite Shata Van Terebe Keribinosco, Longra Bohan Terebe Seria Haza, La Shata Baba, Rapa Cataraba, Raka Tarabacata, Renderebe Salamacanda Rabasia, Hando Fando Shakabon Tarabacunde. Rebo Sakariazo, Mando Fana Kurabaya, Nasen Terebe Kiska Hasta Labacoso, Lendo Shana Mando de Monteriama, Engrebe Seria Hasta Raman de Rien de Riarama Mamando Robo, Rien de Rebo Sanaman de Riama, Casha Tarama Santa Rababa Candaba, Seke de Riaramando Robo, Rica Taya Sileke Teria Haste Cotoba, Mando Robo Senecon de Rebo Sheteriazi. Raka Mayan Talala Mahande Lerebe Sendeli Araba Soto Robo Sonto Rofanda Kurebo Jaka Dos Calaba Seitayama Raka Yamante Behente Riandeli Andele Remondo Rorobo Sendeli Talala Mahande Lerebe Rasha Tayala Mande Rebo Karabadu Yapasu Peso Payakate Antala Masheke Riandele Remo Rongo suya banos ke ves ke ria tala mande raka taya mande lima no solo mande ria andele rebe ando shata ya nda sata maya mande rebe rende rebo sana ramando lolo bo yende rebo sana mande rebo ria mama mando lolo bo yande rebo saka ya nda ria mama rasha taba ba ya para ba sata mande rebe raka taya masia kalia aste rebe kanda ramama londo lobo shana mando Robo seteri araba haya raka sata manda vanda shata rada mande de mende de rebo long robo solto baba rupa taraba kasta lama lengra ba shata empara ba sata bandari anobo rondo solto robo kunemo sana yandeleke 
Jesus, we love you. You are worthy of the praise tonight. You are worthy of the glory. Worthy of the worship. There's no one who deserves praise as you are. There's nobody who deserves worship like you, O oh Lord. That's why, Father, tonight we just want to lift our hands and say, Lord, you are worthy. There's no other God besides you. You alone are the living God. You alone are the King of kings. You alone are the King of glory. We worship our Father and our God, the Most High God, the one which was and is and is to come, the ancient of days. We give you praise, glory, honor, and majesty. In Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. May the saints say amen. Amen. Come on, put your hands together for Jesus. You are very, very welcome tonight. Take your seats, take your seats, take your seats. Worship team, you can take a break. Thank you so much. Powerful. Come on, put your hands up for the worship team. Put your hands together for them. Amazing, amazing ministration. Amazing ministration. So blessed to see a lot of you tonight. We are here, Papa. Powerful, powerful, powerful. This is amazing. This is so wonderful. Thank you so much for being here. And um, thank you, my daughter, Veli, for that powerful ministration. Amen. I wanted to send a message to say, can you tell her just to say shalom, and then I'll see you on Sunday. Oh, yes. <laughs> she was doing some downloading, serious downloading in the spirit. Amen. I'm like, <clears throat> the Holy Spirit, what are you doing revealing these secrets to her too? You know, but that's uh, the Spirit of God at work in the house. Oh, yes. Amen. Amen. You know, there's a level at which you begin to flow in the revelation of your spiritual father. It does happen, I'm telling you. Amen. So thank you so much. And tonight we're talking about raising otters. It's the first of seven series that I'll be dealing with raising an otter. And last Friday we dealt with the crying against evil otters. And there's something I mentioned. Uh, last Friday, that uh, behind the things that affect a generation, and then it goes to affect another generation, there's always an altar behind it. Oh, yes. In other words, there was a spiritual sacrifice that was done behind the scene that you may not know, but that sacrifice ensures 
that the thing is perpetuated. The thing is carried on from this generation to the next generation to the next generation. It lingers on. Whether the thing metamorphoses and ends up in your DNA or it, it affects the family in a different way, there's always a spiritual power behind it. Because if it was something which was just physical and natural, then at the death of the person who cut that covenant or who did the sacrifice, at the death of that person, the thing must die with the person. But we see many things living on in many families. Are you hearing me? Oh, yes. Whilst the thing may not affect you directly because you're a child of God, there could be some things in your family traits that you can see that this thing is moving from family to another family member. Yes. Because there's always a speech of power behind it. The speech of power behind it, whether good or bad, ensures and perpetuates the thing from generation to another word. Generation. So that's why we as children of God, we need to learn to raise otters as well. Because an otter is a place of encounter where you encounter God. Let me put it in a more mature way. An otter is a place where you encounter a specific character of God. Oh. <laughs> Did that make sense? Oh, yes. That's a more mature way. Simple way you encounter God. But in a more mature way, an altar is a place where you encounter a particular character of God. God is so huge and so big and so glorious and so powerful and so confusing to understand from a human point of view to an extent that he decided that he was going to reveal himself by his names. Godiva, Papa. <laughs> I know you're already thinking ta, 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 to, to do your Bible knowledge. <laughs> you're like, ah, I've got no idea what he's talking about. Exodus chapter 6. From verse number 1 to verse number 4. One, two, three, go. Then the Lord said unto Moses, How shalt thou see what I will do to Pharaoh? For with a strong hand shall he let them go, and with a strong hand shall he drive them out of his land. And God spake unto Moses and said unto him, I am the Lord. And I appeared unto Abraham and unto Isaac and unto Jacob by the name of God Almighty. But by my name, Jehovah, was I not known to them. And I have also established my covenant with them to give them the land of Canaan, the land of their pilgrimage, wherein they were strangers. I don't know whether you pick it up, what I mentioned there. That God is too vast to be understood by a finite brain. He is too huge to be understood by someone who eats rice and chicken. <laughs> He's so spiritual to be understood by people who are operating from a physical perspective. So how did God deal with that problem? He dealt with the problem by reducing himself to particular names. Now, name there is not just a name like we call you. Name is character. Name is what? Character. So what he's saying right there is saying, listen, I didn't show this character that I'm about to show now to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob. But I appeared to them with a different character. Ah. The character that Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob interacted of God was that of El Shaddai. So they knew him as Jehovah El Shaddai. 
But they didn't know that there was a bigger character behind the scene that never revealed itself. They didn't know that God was more than just El Shaddai. El Shaddai is the Almighty. Now, there's another word which I'll, I'll give you to, tonight. I've never given you that one. El Shaddai also means the big-breasted one. A God with big breasts. That you can feed and feed and feed. Wow. Now, now you're understanding it. A provider, in other words. Yes. I was in, in, in West Africa in a country called Guinea Conakry. Conakry is the capital. Guinea is the country. So it's called Guinea Conakry because there's another Guinea Bissau. So Bissau is also a capital of that, of that country called Guinea. So Guinea Bissau or Guinea Conakry. Now I was in this country, Guinea uh, Conakry, doing business there. And I noticed something. Everywhere I went, every shop I entered, every hotel I entered, they had this idol with big breasts. Very big, long breasts, almost touching the ground. Everywhere you go, it didn't matter you turn which direction. There were idols everywhere with this big breast. So I began to wonder, I'm like, do these people have a revelation of Jehovah or Shaddai or what? Wow. <laughs> but you can you see, in their minds, they are thinking about an idol of provision. Yes. That's why the Egyptians had so many gods. Why? Because each god was a character. Each god was a particular thing. That's why our, our, uh, across the, the ocean, the other side, they've got so many gods. And some of them have so many hands. Oh, yes. They are trying to say, this hand is for provision. This hand is for protection. This hand is for this. this but our Jehovah God is far bigger than all that nonsense. Oh, yes. Are you hearing me? Him alone, he, encom he encompasses everything that can ever be encompassed. Oh, yes. So, he understands. If he comes to you in his, to in his totality, you are going to pass out. Amen. Go ask John. Jesus that he was leaning on his chest. When he met him in the realm of the spirit, he fell down. He says, I lay there as if I'm one who is dead. And he came and touched me. <laughs> Are you hearing me? Oh, yes. So, God says what? I introduced myself to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob as who? El Shaddai, Almighty God. So, God in his character as Almighty God, what did he do? He said, listen, the whole earth is mine. I'm choosing to give you the land of Canaan. I'm making a promise to you. So, Jehovah Almighty, or Jehovah El Shaddai, the Lord, uh, the Lord Almighty, is a name of God by which he makes a covenant. So, all they knew was a God who makes a covenant. They never knew him as a God who fulfills a covenant. But when he came to Moses, he says, listen, Moses, I have now come in a different character. This character was never revealed to Abraham. It was never revealed to Isaac. It was never revealed to Jacob. It is a character of now fulfilling the covenant. Uh, you are not hearing me. We are following, Papa. So, you behave of hey. Someone said, you behave of hey. Hey, Bob, hey. Oh, the way you, oh, okay, okay. The way you are talking, I know you are hungry, you haven't eaten, but it's only. <laughs> like, like, thank God, I'm surviving, thank God. Someone said, You behave of hey. You behave of hey. You don't know my secret. If I give you one day to fast, me, I'll do two or three. You don't know my secret. If I give you one week to fast, me, I'll do two weeks. So, come on, show some more. Oh, yes. Amen. <laughs> it should be me saying, hallelujah. <laughs> Not you. 
you only missed breakfast and lunch. That's all. Amen. <laughs> Just a breakfast and lunch. Dinner as I'm cooking now is, is cooking. <laughs> Someone said you behave of hay. You behave of hay. Yeah, so you behave of hay is a character of God that fulfills what? The covenant. So, <laughs> I'm revealing too much. God is a Baba. So, what used to happen in the Old Testament was when God appears to a person, God would introduce himself to the person. Or God would give the person a revelation depending on what the person is going through. And then the person will say, Aha, today I've met this character of God. Now, let me raise an altar to this character of God. Not that there were many gods. Ah, it's one Jehovah God, but it's too vast to be understood by a finite brain. Amen. So he introduced himself by different characters. So people of old, they had different altars. They knew that if I want to meet a God who fulfills a covenant, I need to go to the altar which is found in Bethel. If I need to meet a God who fulfills a covenant or who makes a covenant which is now different from the other one, I need to meet a God who is in a high place of Gilboa. So you find that those people, they used to move from place to place worshiping the same Jehovah God, but on different altars. Oh. You're not hearing me. We are following. On a different what? Different. Altars. Because they, the person who met God in that place raised an altar. And that altar is called by a particular name of God. Mm. Oh, yes. I receive. Exodus chapter 17. I receive. Exodus chapter 17, verse 14 to 16. Because of time. It's not a teaching night, it's a praying night. Amen. But I need to load you first with revelation. Oh, yes. All right, let's read together. One, two, three, go. And the Lord said unto Moses, Write this for a memorial in a book, and rehearse it in the ears of Joshua, for I will utterly put out the remembrance of Amalek from under heaven. And Moses built an altar and called the name of it Jehovah Nissi. For he said, Because the Lord hath sworn that the Lord will have war with Amalek, from generation to generation. So, if an Amalek is driving you nuts, huh? you didn't have to go to Jerusalem for prayer. Uh -uh. You need to go to where Moses built an altar. And he called the name of that altar what? Jehovah Nisi. Uh -huh. Jehovah Nisi is not the name of God. It was a name of the what? Altar. But that altar is representing a character of God. That character of God is that of Jehovah Nisi. And character of God which is said Jehovah Nisi is a God of warfare. Who shall fight Amalek from generation to generation. If they escape from this generation, this God will not die in this generation. He's still living in the next generation. He's going to fight them in that generation. If they escape this generation, he's going to meet them in the fourth generation. He's going to fight them in the fourth generation. If they escape the fourth generation, he's going to meet them anywhere they shall be. Are you hearing me, somebody? Oh, yes. Say yes. 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 So Moses realizes, no, 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 wait a minute. In order to make God in each generation to remember his promise to fight Amalek from generation to, to generation, let me build an altar. So he raised an altar and called the name of that altar what? Jehovah Nis. And today we call God Jehovah Nisi. Yes. Not because he told us that my name is Jehovah Nisi. No. Moses said, the character of God that we met in this place is Jehovah Nis. So he built an altar. Wow. So you know that when you go to that altar to offer your sacrifices or to pray, you are not meeting Jehovah, you are not meeting Jehovah El Shaddai. Yes. You are not meeting the character of Jehovah Rapha. Oh, there's no healing there. Oh yes, we are following. On that altar there's no what? No healing. Wow. 
It's an altar of warfare where God has to fight Amalekites oh, from yes. generation to generation. That's why, you, that's why, you see, when, when Hamas did their stupid thing, me, I raised my altar. He has said this oh, altar, yes. the way Moses raised an altar, that God is going to fight Amalek from generation to generation. I'm going to raise an altar here today because Hamas must go. You remember oh, yes. that? Oh, yes. I said Hamas must what? Must go. And people, countries, Joe Biden and Joe Snake, everything else, they have tried to fight Israel to stop them from finishing Hamas. But as long as there's an order on that place, oh, yes. Hamas is going to go. Hamas is going to be finished. Are you hearing me, somebody? Oh, yes. Say yes. yes. We are spiritual people. We understand the spiritual principles. We raise that order there. I said it before Israel said it. That Hamas must what? Go. Must go. And today, America has been throwing tantrums, yes. including our only stupid... Oh, oh sorry. Yes. Amen. Yes. Go leave a Baba. I'll leave that alone. <laughs> Imagine... Our own, our own politicians in Australia throwing tantrums. This politician, he went to Israel. They told her, can you go visit where Hamas killed people? Refused. Yeah, amen. Refused to go there. Came back to Australia. Oh, we, are, we are committing aid. We are giving aid against the Hamas. Giving aid against the Palestinian people. People, 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 people. What nonsense. As long as there's Hamas in that place. Oh, yes. There shall be no peace for Israel. Amen. Hamas must go. Oh, yes. Hamas must go. <laughs> Are you hearing me? Oh, yes. So tonight, we're going we're gonna to raise an altar. Not Jehovah Nis. Mm -mm, I'm coming there. But today, there's a different altar that we're raising. Genesis chapter 8. Verse 20 to 22. Are you now understanding the principle of an altar? Oh, yes. So I don't mean when you go to your house, I should find a pile of stones there, a pile of stones there, a pile of stones there. <laughs> Amen. Like, son, what is it? That one is for Jehovah Nis. This one, Jehovah Shama. This one, Jehovah Shalom. This one, Jehovah El Elam. This one, Jehovah Mekadesh Kem. This one, at Tziduken. You know, the Lord, my righteousness. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Are we there? So this is now after the what? The flood. Noah has come out of the ark. The Bible says that Noah built an ark, an altar unto the Lord and he took of every clean beast and of every clean fowl, and offered burnt offerings on the altar. And the Lord smelled a sweet savour. And the Lord said in his heart, I will not again curse the ground anymore for man's sake. For the imagination of man's heart is evil from his youth. Neither will I again smite anymore every living thing as I have done. While the earthy remaineth, seed time and the harvest. <laughs> and cold and heat and the summer and winter and the day and the night shall not cease. Now here's Noah after he comes out of the ark. The Bible says Noah built what? An altar. This is so huge. And this is the first time, arguably, of course, we know there was Abel, 
and Esu who, I mean, so sorry, Abel and Cain who offered their sacrifices. But to be mentioned that word otter, this is the first time that word appears, otter, in that form. That Noah builds an altar and offers sacrifices on that altar. And the Bible says the moment God smelled the sweet smell from that altar, God made a promise that I will never ever destroy the earth again with water as I have done. Neither will I ever curse the ground for man's sake. Why? Because man is a sinner. The imagination of his heart is evil from his youth. You can't say because this one is a young person, then their hearts are clean. <laughs> are you hearing me? Oh, yes. Neither will I kill all the living creatures because of man as I have done. But what order was this? What order was it? It was an order of praise. This was an order of what? Praise. Imagine you, your wife, and your children are the only people who have escaped. Everybody has gone down under. Everybody, every living thing is gone. Except you, your wife, your children, and your, your daughter-in-laws. And animals are the only survivors. Amen. You come out of the, of, the, of the ark. I'm sure the first thing that will come out of your mouth, it won't be, Father, can I ask you for something? I'm sure the first thing coming out of your mouth will be, Oh, Lord, we give you praise. Yes, Father, we give you praise that we have escaped from the flood. Father, we give you praise that we are still alive. Are you hearing what I'm talking about? So Noah comes out of the ark, and the first thing he does what? Is to build an altar. It was an altar of praise. Someone say altar of praise. Altar of praise. You see, you as a child of God, I think we need to be spending more time on the altar of praise than any other kind of altar. Because I've realized there's something that we are missing as children of God. We are so needy driven that we forget what God has already given us. Yes, amen. The only way we can appropriate what God has already given us and have it to be part of our everyday lives is when we remember that we are not disadvantaged. We are advantaged. Are you hearing me? We are not beneath, we are above. We are not tails, but we are heads. Are you hearing me? And the Bible says, blessed be the God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. Are you hearing me, someone? So we are not starting from a place of disadvantage. We are beginning from a place of advantage. Say, I have got an advantage. I have got an advantage. You are blessed. Say, I'm blessed. I am blessed. Say, I am blessed. I am blessed. Say, neighbor. Neighbor. I am blessed. I am blessed. Whether you like it. Whether you like it. Or you don't. Or you don't. Your opinion. Your billion. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I am blessed. I am blessed. Say, <laughs> neighbor. Neighbor. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Imagine. If God had to consult that neighbor of yours, whether he should bless you or not. I'm sure they will say, ah, yeah, 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 he's, a, he's, a, he's, a, he's a good person. But, but you know, uh, personally. <laughs> but. <laughs> personally. They say personally. Noah built an altar. Altar called what? Praise. Psalm chapter 54, verse number 6. Psalm 
Psalm 54, verse number 6. I want you to see some there. One, two, three, go. I will freely sacrifice unto thee. I will praise thy name, O Lord, for it is good. I will freely sacrifice unto thee. Now, we need to understand David. David was a New Testament believer. He was not a guy who was living in the Old Testament at all. He talks about of animal sacrifices. You see, God, I know you don't like this stuff. Therefore, I will bring a sacrifice of praise unto your name. So there he's talking about freely giving a sacrifice unto God. But then he tells us what kind of sacrifice it is. It is a sacrifice of what? Praise. It says, I'll praise thy name, O Lord, for it is good. Jeremiah 33, verse 11. Jeremiah 33, 11. And then we'll begin to pray. Jeremiah 33, 11. One, two, three, go. The voice of joy and the voice of gladness, the voice of the bridegroom and the voice of, of the bride, the voice of them that shall say, Praise the Lord of hosts, for the Lord is good, for his mercy endureth forever, and of them that shall bring the sacrifice of praise into the house of the Lord. For I will cause to return the captivity of the land as at the first, saith the Lord. Are you hearing me? The mere fact that you are saved calls for praise. The mere fact that you are still alive today calls for praise. Amen. The mere fact that God has made you the righteousness of God calls for praise. The mere fact that you are seated with the Christ in the heavenly places calls for praise. Oh, yes. Are you hearing me? Oh, yes. Your life is a life of praise. More, more, almost everything about you is praise. Amen. Someone say praise. Praise. You know, apart from praying for the church, apart from praying for you, I hardly find anything to pray for me. For me, mostly is praise. I praise God for what he has made me to be. I praise God for what he has given me. I praise God for the grace upon in my life. I praise God for, because I've got so many things I need to be thankful for. Amen. So many things. When I look at the scriptures, I find that almost everything is about praise, 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 praise. God has done so much for me that sometimes I don't even know what to praise him for. Are you hearing me? Oh, yes. Let's finish with Hebrews chapter 13, verse 15. Hebrews 13, 15. One, two, three, go. By him, therefore, let us offer the sacrifice of praise to God continually. That is, the fruit of, of our lips giving thanks to his name. Did you see that? By him, therefore, let us what? Offer the sacrifice of praise to God. Con go. Go. Continually. So, as a child of God, if there's an altar you ought to spend more time on, is the altar of praise. Oh, yes. Spend more time on that altar. You'll be amazed with what God will do in your life. Don't you spend more time on the altar of asking, 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 asking. No, 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 no. As a New Testament believer, Spend more time on the altar of what? Praise. 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 After Noah was saved, he built an altar. It was an altar of praise. After you are saved, you ought to build an altar. And it's an altar of what? Praise. Amen. Because the salvation of Noah was a prophecy. Prophesying about your own salvation. The ark of Noah is your Jesus for you. Yes, amen. <laughs> Are you hearing me? Yes. Are you hearing me? Oh, yes. <laughs> the ark of Noah is Christ. Because God had said, 
I will not destroy the earth with the water again. So it means he was going to change the destruction. The coming destruction is not of water, but of what? Fire. So Christ comes as your ark to save you from that fire. Uh, you're not hearing me. Always. We hear so you Christ come. is your ark. Someone say Christ. Christ. Is my ark. Is my ark. Because the thing is, if God was going to give you the ark of Noah, that thing would not survive the fire. Yes, amen. But he had to give you something that is able to protect you from the fire. And that one is Jesus Christ. Oh, yes. Say, neighbor, neighbor, are you ready? Are you ready to offer the sacrifice of praise? To offer the sacrifice of praise continually. Continually. What did they say? Oh, we are ready. They said they are ready. Oh, yes. Rise on your feet. Rise on your feet. Long rabo shata mandiria siya. I receive. Kazi kayanteria soto. Say, O oh Lord, O oh Lord, tonight, tonight, I raise my altar, I raise my altar, an altar of praise, an altar of praise, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, O oh Lord, O oh Lord, as Noah, as Noah, raised an altar, raised an altar of praise, of praise, after his salvation, after his salvation, O oh Lord, O oh Lord, me too, me too, I raise, I raise an altar, an altar of praise, of praise, after my salvation, after my salvation, from this day forward, from this day forward, I will spend more time, I will spend more time on the altar, on the altar of praise, of praise, in the name of Jesus, in the name of come Jesus, come on, offer your prayer, come on, offer your prayer, come on, offer your prayer. Lift your voice, people. Let God hear your praise. Ivralia zeke eza kandia reke televeheza randalama jekelia hazekeva. We give you praise, O oh God. We give you thanks, O oh Lord. Rakatalia zete eza kalia randalama zikerevehenda. Thank you that we are blessed with every spiritual blessing, O oh God. Rakatalama zike in the heavenly places. O zakalia mahanda rekete avralia zete eza kanda. O vralia zeke televeheza. Thank you for sending Jesus to die for our sins, O oh Lord. Mazia kanda reke lehezo. Mazakata yeze leheza. Rakatala mahazia kivra alia. O zakanda rama zeke leheza. Ivra kalia mahanda reketea. Ura malabo shantarama. Ivra kalia zete eza kande. Rakatala mahaze reke teleheza. Kala mazuka rande leheza. Thank you that we can come before you, O Lord, with boldness, O Lord. Rakatalia zete ezakaya, rekete leheza ramahanda, rikala vose shete ezakalia, randa mazike evralia, mazeke leheza randa lama, zeke te ezeke lehenda, o zakalia vosa shata, kala mazike evralia, o zakanda rama zete leheza, rakatala mazete ezakalia mahande, rekete ya zivra alia haza, sheke ezatara mahande, reke leheza. Thank you for your protection, O Lord. Thank you for your hand upon our lives, upon our families, O Lord. Rakataya zete ezekelia handa, urama zete lehezaka, kurama zete ezekelia vosa, apralia zika ande, rekataza ivra alia mahande, o zakandarama. Thank you for setting us apart, O Lord, for your purposes, O Lord. For your plans, O oh God, Rakapaya zite ezekelia hande, Ivralia zete, Azakanda rama jete eza, O lavrikete ezia mahande, Rakataya zite heza, Apria la hande reketea. Lift your voices, pray, pray, praise. Ekara babaro soto yara mabara shanda, Hika yara sete yara mabara shia, Mando yara sete yara sete, Ekara babaro soto yara siya. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Father God.
Lord. God, I'm about to rise to your rasia. Mando your rasete your rasito korobaba. Mando your rasete your rasito korobaba rasia. We give you praise, oh God. 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 God, I'm about to rise to your rasete. Rekete ke your rasito ko your rasia. Mando your rasete your rasia. Thank you, oh Lord. Thank you, oh God. Thank you, oh God. God, I'm about to rise to your rasita your rasia. Mando your rasete your rasia. Thank you, Father, for your grace. Thank you, Father, for the gift of salvation. Thank you, oh Lord. God, I'm about to rise to your rasita. Rekete ke your rasete your rasia. Mando your rasia your rasita. Rekete ke your rasete. Rekete ke your rasito ko your rasia. Mando your rasia your rasete. Oh, Father God, we give you thanks. Pray, 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 pray. Shekele manda, la braba shifri eze ke prama shiki eze ke praba zaya. Braba shiki pri eze ki eze ke le manda la vanda. Oh, we give you praise tonight, oh God. Oh, na shiki arama karama sanda. Oh Lord, we thank you for the expressive garment of praise. Oh, la ma shiki ere me kere mazaya. Hola ma si pies de kere ma kara mara. Hola ma shiki ere me kere ma zalra. Rama shiki e priaza kas de kele vanda. Hola mandas de kaya kara manda. Oh Lord, tonight our hearts are filled with thanksgiving. And our hearts are filled with praise, oh God. Praise you, Lord. Mara shiki ere ma kara ma si piere. Bara ma si pies de kere ma si kende. Rapa shandala ma shiki este kere be. Bara ma saprai. Nong rebo shataria hastaraba senteria ba. Rata kataraba kataba. Rendere be seteria konderia maso. Hem parabaraba sondoria baba. Rendo sete kuto pado shaka bon taraba keskeri azi. Lengre mo san taraba hambara ba seteri ababa. Raka suta kurebo shaka yan terebe seria kandara ba soto. Raka yan deri azo. Mande sota konda shata fan terebe serebe kiribinoska. Lempara ba songolo pada rada bo shanda han deri azo. Raka saka bandara ba siya en terebe kenderi araba soto. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Are you here? We are here, Papa. So what are we going to do? You brought your sacrifice? Those who brought physical money are going to come and put it on that altar there. If you are giving online, you just have to come and touch that, that altar with your card. Are you hearing me? Oh, yes. Just come and ta. We are prophetic mafias. Amen. If you have nothing, ask your neighbor, say, neighbor, be a good neighbor. I need something from you right this very minute. Let me have the offering details online there. You can't talk about an altar without a sacrifice on that altar. <laughs> you can't talk as Lord I've built an altar. Thank you. See you tomorrow. No, God has to smell something nice coming from your altar. Masha Kataya Zantarama. Kiradabasu Seleta Vanosh Kalamazo. Karadabahas Terebekende Yarabasoto. Oh, 
Say, oh Lord, oh Lord, tonight, tonight, I bring my sacrifice. I bring my sacrifice on my altar of praise. On my altar of praise. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, oh Lord, smell, smell the good server. The good server from my sacrifice. From my sacrifice tonight, tonight. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And remember. And remember. Every promise. Every promise. Every covenant. Every covenant. That you made. That you made. With your son Jesus. With your son Jesus. Concerning me. Concerning me. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Tonight. Tonight. As I offer my sacrifice. As I offer my sacrifice. I call upon your name. I call upon your name. You behave of hey. You behave of hey. You behave of hey. You behave of hey. Fulfill your covenant. Fulfill your covenant. Perform your covenant. Perform your covenant. In the name of Jesus. 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 You can come and begin to give. me. 
I receive. This is a game changer. Oh, yes. Someone said this is a game changer. This is a game changer. I know you may not understand what you've just done. But I will, I will tell you something. I will tell you something. So, we're going to make a prayer, just praising God, oh, telling yes. him how good he is. I love the Bible. Almost everywhere there's praise, there's always one statement, for he is good. And Amen. his mercy endures forever. I love that statement. How, how do you describe God? I told you it's hard to describe him because you can say God is good, but until you see the goodness in action, it's almost impossible to describe his goodness. But when you see that goodness in action, then you begin to describe the goodness of God. Oh, yes. So we're going to make a prayer just for five minutes. In those five minutes, find something to talk about the goodness of God. If you run out of ideas, just switch in tongues. Those tongues are tongues of praise. Someone said tongues of praise. Tongues of praise. Are you ready? We are ready. Are you ready? We are ready. Sokato shahata mandei. I receive. Say, oh Lord. Oh Lord. Tonight. Tonight. I give you praise. I give you praise. You are such a wonderful God. You are such a wonderful God. You are such a glorious God. You're such a glorious God. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. You are so good. You are so good. And your mercy. And your mercy. Endures. Endures. Forever. Forever. I shall give you praise. I shall give you praise. All the days. All the days. Of my life. Of my life. I shall wake up in the morning. I shall wake up in the morning. To give you praise. To give you praise. For you are such a good God. For you are such a good Come God. Come on, lift up your voices. Begin to praise him in your voice you've got five minutes yala ko tarbas yala ko tarbas tarish han narvasai raba baba baka yala kai oh lord god you are such a good god oh lord god I thank you, Lord God, for everything, oh Lord, that you've done unto me, Lord God, and my family, Lord God. I thank you, Lord, for my salvation, Lord God. Mandaravasai, Rabavasai, Yelakai, Rikati, Yelakoto, Rishandaravasanda, Rantiki, Yelakoi, Roko, Torvaki, Yelakata, Ravasai, Yelakanda, Rishandaravasai. Oh, Lord God, your mercy, Lord God. 
and your forgiveness, Lord, endures forever, Lord God. Oh, Rabasai, Yelakai, Manda Rabasai, your goodness, Lord, is too good, Lord God. Oh, Rabasai, Yelakai, Manda Rabasai, Rabasai, Rakatarabaki, Yelakota Rabasai, Yelakanda, Rishanda Rabasai. I thank you, Lord God, for calling me, Lord God, out of the darkness, Lord God, into your marvelous light, Lord God. I give you thanks, Lord. Oh, Rabasai, Yelakai, Manda Rabasai, Rabasai, Yelakai, Rikatirabaki. Oh, Lord God, your mercy endures forever, Lord God. I thank you, Lord. I know where I'd be, Lord God, without without your mercy and your grace, Lord God. Oh, Rabasai, Yalakai, Mandarabasundo, Rishandarabasai, Rakatai, Rakatarabaki, Yalakoto, Rishatarabasata, Raka. Rekalia zate eza la mahandiaza, rikala mazete ezekela, japataya zekele hende, rokalia mahaske, ivraliama, zete rebebekenda randalama, oza kalama jikete, alovra andia zete. Thank you for my life, O oh Lord. Thank you for waking me up this morning. Thank you for the breath, O oh God, that is in my lungs, O oh Lord. Thank you for my hands, my feet. Thank you, Lord, for the ability, O oh Lord God, just to be here, O oh Lord. Thank you, O oh God. Thank you for your Holy Spirit, O oh God, that directs me, that guides me, O oh Lord. Thank you for your angels, O oh Lord, that you bring around us, O oh Lord, to protect us, O oh Lord, to direct us, O oh God. Mazia Kandara Majeke Ezalaha, Rakataya Zite Ezekelia, O Vralia Mahanda. Thank you for this ministry, O oh Lord. Thank you for our leaders. Thank you for our spiritual parents. O Zakalia Mahazerete, Azia Kandarama, Jete Ezekelia Zatarama, Jeketea Zatarama. Thank you for the promises, O oh Lord God, that you have spoken over our lives. Rakataya Zite Ezekelia, Randalama Zete Ezelehenda, O Zakalia Zata. Thank you for your peace, O oh Lord. Thank you for your joy, O oh Lord. Mazia Kandarama. Thank you for your righteousness that you have imputed into us, O oh Lord. Mazia Kalama Zete Ezekia, Rakatala Mazike Yeza, Azolia Mahande, Reketea Ramalabosa, Shanda, Ivralia Zekete, Kalama Zike Elevehenda, O Ramala Zite Ezekia, Zekete Elevehenda, O Zakanda Ramajike Lehezo, Mazaka Paya Rajikete, Avrolia Handa, Rikalama, Zete Ezekelia Zata. Thank you that we can be used by your Lord. Mazataya Zata, Ezekelia Vaha, O Ramala Zekeza, Avriala Mahande, Reke Terebeza, O Zakala Mahandia, Jeke Terebelehenda Randalama, O Zakala Mazete Ezekeria Zata, Kivra Alama Zetereza, O Kalia Mazete Reveze. Thank you that we are seated with Christ in heavenly places, O Lord. O Zakalia Vahande, Randalama Zikete, Azukala Mahandia. Thank you for authority, O oh Lord, for giving us authority, O oh Lord. Mazakalia Zete. Thank you for making us kings and priests, O oh Lord. Azakalia Zete Eze. O la Mazandia Zakarama. Uvralia Zete Eza. Azakala Mahandia Zete Rebekenda. U la Mazete Ezakanda. Rakatarama Zete Rebeheza. Ala Vrandia Zete. Kala Mazipayaza. Lift your voices, praise, praise, praise. Yara Baba, Mando Yara Sete Yara Baba Shanda. Eke Yara Sete Yara Baba. Eke Yara Sete Yara Baba 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 Sete. Rika Taka Yara Sanda Yara Baba. Mando Yara Baba Rasha Yara Sete. Eke Yara Sete Yara Baba. Mando Yara Sete Yara Baba. Eke Yara Sete Yara Baba 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 Sete Yara Baba. Mando Yara Sete Yara Baba. Eke Yara Sia Yara Sete. Anda Yara Sanda Yara Baba. Oh. Oh, Father God, we give you praise. In the Rasete, Yarra Baba Baba. Eke Rasete, Yarra Sia, Yarra Baba Baba. Oko Yarrasete, Yarra. Eke Rasende, Yarra Baba. Maso Toko Yarrasia. Thank you, Father God, for your grace. Thank you, Father God, for your mercy. Thank
Thank you, Father God, for your goodness. Thank you, Father God, for your faithfulness. Thank you, Father God, for the sacrifice. Thank you, Father God, for your word tonight. Thank you, Father God. Oh, Father God, we give you praise. We give you praise, oh God. We give you praise, oh God. Maso toko ya rasete. Maso toko ya rasaya. Mando ya rasete ya rasia. Oh, pray, 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 pray. Shalamala mele me shepele bekele makala va shikiere. Hallelujah. 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 We praise you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Thank you for your loving kindness, O oh God. Praise you, praise you, praise you. Thank you, Lord, for your tender mercies. Praise you, praise you, praise you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Oh, Lord, thank you, thank you. Oh, Lord, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praised. Amen. Is it happening? It is happening. Isaiah chapter 61, verse 1 to 3. The Lord spoke to me this afternoon when I was getting ready for this service tonight. He said, there's something I want to put from my people's lives. And then I saw depression. I saw depression. The Lord said, I want to put this thing from my people's lives oh, yes. once and for all. Oh, yes. You'll be shocked with how many times God's children find themselves in a place of depression. It may not persist, it may be for days, maybe for some weeks. But the devil loves pushing God's children in that space of depression. Oh, yes. Because of the challenges that we meet on every single day. On his side, I said something. Never allow your joy to go away. No matter what you're going through. Are you hearing me? Oh, yes. So, if there are some sicknesses that came into the family because someone built an altar or raised an altar of evil. We're going to cancel that altar of evil oh, yes. by the altar of praise that we have raised tonight. Oh, yes. Are you hearing me? Oh, yes. I don't want anybody associated with me, whether it's a, a thousand the generation in the future, ever, 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 oh, yes. to have depression. Are you ready? Yes. Isaiah chapter 61, verses 1 to 3. 1 to 3, go. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He hath sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prison to them that are bound, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord, and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all that mourn, to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion, to give unto them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he might be glorified. The garment of what? Praise for what? The spirit of depression. Oh, yes. <laughs> Say never. Never. No more depression. No more depression. Ah, you're not hearing me. Say tonight. Tonight. Depression. Depression. I banish you. I banish you. From our family. From our family. And the future generations. And future generations. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say back up. Back up. And get out of here. And get out of here. Ha <laughs> ha. Hey. Say hello. 
Lord. Oh Lord. In our generation. In our generation. We put on. We put on. The garment. The garment. Of praise. Of praise. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. From this day forward. From this day forward. Where there was heaviness, where there was heaviness, let there be praise. Let there be praise. From tonight, from tonight, going forward, going forward, for my children, for my children, my grandchildren, my grandchildren, my great grandchildren, my great grandchildren, to a thousand generations, to a thousand generations. No one in our family, no one in our family, will ever be depressed. Will ever be depressed. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Tonight, tonight, I have raised. I have raised. An altar, an altar of praise. Of praise. It shall speak. It shall speak. Praise. 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 Yeah. Praise. 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 I'm trading my shame. I'm laying them down. I'm laying them down for the joy of the Lord. I'm trading my sorrows. I'm trading my soul. I'm trading my sickness. I'm trading my pain. I'm trading them down for the joy of the Lord. I'm trading my shame. I'm trading my shame. I'm trading my pain. I'm trading my pain. I'm laying them down. I'm laying them down for the joy of the Lord. We say yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We say yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes, Lord. Amen. Sing yes, Lord. Sing yes, Lord. Sing yes. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes, Lord. Sing yes. Yes, Lord, amen. Sing yes, Lord, sing yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Yes, yes, Lord, amen. La, 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 la. La, 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 la. Come on, somebody celebrate Jesus. Yes, Lord, amen. I'm pressed but not crushed. Sing out. I'm pressed but not crushed. Persecuted, not a Struck down but not destroyed. I'm blessed beyond the curse for his promise and his joy. And his joy is going to be my strength. Though the sorrow may last, though the sorrow may last for the night, his joy comes in the morning. Yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord, amen. We sing yes, Lord, yes. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, We sing yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord, amen. Come on, let me hear your joy in the house. Let me hear your joy. Come on, let me hear your joy. Come on, let me hear your joy. Say shout of praise. Give him a shout of praise. Give him a shout of praise. Give him a shout of praise. Say <laughs> never. Hey. Say no more depression. No more depression. Come on, shake it off. Shake it off. There's no more depression here. Aha. Ow! Hey. You know, as I'm, as, as, as I'm looking at you, I am seeing some of you have got sisters, brothers, parents, uncles, aunties, who 
you know they've been going through depression. Oh, yes. Even yourself, sometimes you go through that season of just, just feeling low, feeling empty. You have to force yourself to do things. But after tonight, oh, yes. If I be a prophet of God, oh, can yes. I prophesy? I said after tonight. I trust in thee, I praise your name, you are so good to me. I trust in thee, I, in thee. I praise your name, praise your Lord, name. Lord you, you are, are so good to me. I trust in thee, I, I praise your name, praise your Lord, name. Lord you, you are, are so good to me. I love Jesus, I love Jesus. tonight after tonight no more depression no more depression in my life in my life in my family in my family in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus say depression depression you are banished you are banished forever forever oh yes <laughs> Jehovah turns my life around he turns So Just lift your right hand. Say, Oh Lord. Oh Lord. As I lift my hand. As I lift my hand. Every person. Every person. That I know. That I know. Who is depressed. Who is depressed. Wherever they are. Wherever they are. I stand in their place. I stand in their place. I decree and I declare. I decree and I declare. No more depression. No more depression. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say, Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Tonight. Tonight. Give them a garment of praise. Give them a garment of praise. Anoint them. Anoint them. With the oil of joy. With the oil of joy. In the name of Jesus. 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 Shout yes. Yes. No sakata ya mandeliazo. Mashekedusa arakasiye mehesta kate. I receive. Do we have communion? Yes. Let's get our communion. Those at home, you are saying, my prophet, I don't have an altar here. What do I do? Just as I stretch my hand towards the screen, touch your card with the screen. If you've got cash, whatever, just touch it. Just, just make sure there's a contact with the screen. As I stretch my hand around in the name of Jesus, connect to this altar in this place. In the mighty name of Jesus. Connect to this altar in this place. In the mighty name of Jesus, the altar of praise, the altar of praise, in the name of Jesus, let it be in your tabernacles from tonight in Jesus' name. Someone say it is done. Ah. Ah. Wherever you are, as I said, have communion in your homes. If you don't have, I'm giving you one minute. Your time starts now. <laughs> Go grab something that you can use for, for communion.
Are you blessed? We are very blessed, Baba. Are you going to be in, on Friday again? Oh, yes. Are you going to be on Sunday? Oh, yes. Let me talk about Sunday. Sunday, don't even think about it. The revelation that you're going to hear on Sunday. Oh, yes. It will drive you crazy. I receive. I'm telling you, the revelation that you're going to hear on Sunday, it's crazy. So if you were planning not to come, I cancel your plan in Jesus' name. Oh, yes. I put a new plan in place. Oh, yes. To come in the name of Jesus. Father, I sanctify this communion tonight as we break our fast. We break by the blood of Christ and the blood of Christ. As Lord, you gave it unto us in that covenant, the New Testament in your blood. We thank you, Lord, for your blood is stronger than the blood of bulls and the blood of gods. We thank you that your blood it does not cover sin. It, uh, it annihilates a sin. It washes whiter than the snow. We thank you, Lord, tonight that as we break this fast, we seal the altar that we have raised tonight, the altar of praise. We thank you, Father. We bless you that our lives from tonight will be full of praise. We sanctify it by the power of the Spirit of the living God. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Father, as I lay my hands on them, even those in their homes, distance is not a barrier. My hand is being laid on that as well. Oh, yes. As I sanctify this table today, tonight, let their tables be sanctified because there's no distance in the spirit. Oh, yes. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Someone said, Amen. Amen. Shout, Amen. Amen. You can distribute the emblems. There is freedom, there is freedom. 
go the emblem. Those online, you go the emblem. Those at on Facebook, YouTube, on Zoom. Let me see those on Zoom. You got the emblems. You got something. Powerful, powerful, powerful. Powerful. Say, oh Lord. Oh Lord. Your body was broken. Your body was broken. That my body. That my body. Must never be broken. Must never be broken. By depression. By depression. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Say, oh Lord. Oh Lord. I thank you. I thank you. For the shed blood. For the shed blood. The blood of the new covenant. The blood of the new covenant. There's no depression. There is no depression. In the new covenant. In the new covenant. I receive. I receive. My garment of praise. My garment of praise. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. My life. My life. Shall be full of praise. Shall be full of praise. From this day forward. From this day forward. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. You may partake of the bread and the cup. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. Someone said, Amen. Amen. So tomorrow, I'll be having uh, Kingdom Finances. What time? 10 a.m. 10 o'clock right here. And those in other campuses, please, if they're Kingdom Finances, they are connect. Because tomorrow I'll be dealing with uh, a very important question. And that is, how do you identify a business? Most of you have been saying, I want to do business, I want to do business. Now let me talk about the fundamentals of how do you identify a business. Amen? Amen. So if you are able to connect, connect. This topic will change your life. I receive. And then that will be 10 to 12. At 2 p.m., 2 p.m., I want to meet the evangelism team. Evangelism team. What time? 2 p.m. 2 p.m. Is that okay? All my evangelism teams from all the other campuses, I want you to connect. I want to see on Zoom. Because the Lord has given my instruction. I want to spend time with you. I, wanna, I want us to pray together. I want to release grace in your lives. I want to do some training, but also I want to, to show you some material that God has given us that we're going to be using for evangelism. So please take note of that. 2 p.m., I'll be right here meeting who? Evangelism, evangelism team. If you're an evangelist or you feel the evangelism thing in you, you better be here. You may not be a part of the evangelism team, but you really want to see people coming to Christ. I want to encourage you. To come and be here tomorrow at what time? 2 p.m. 
Someone say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We've come to the end of the program tonight. Um, thank you so much for coming. You'll never be the same again. I receive. That one, I know. Oh, yes. So I'll never be the same again. I'll never be the same again. Say, never, 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 never. Never, 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 never. Say, our family. Our family. Will never be the same again. Will never be the same again. Never, never, never. Never, never, never. Say, never, never, never. Never, never, never. Say, never, never, never. Never, never, never. Huh? Say, never, never, never. Never, never, never. Yeah. Tonight you are set free. Are you hearing me? Yes. Tonight you are set free. Amen. I you, you'll never be attacked by depression again. Amen. I receive. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. You. Do you know anyone, do you know anybody, anybody who suffers from depression? You. Uh, anybody. My mother, myself, my sister. Uh -huh. Prophesy, Papa. We will never settle for less, cause we know, we know there's more, there's more that's found in you. We will never settle. your night. Amen. Are you hearing me? Yes. I said tonight is what? It's your night. Your night. Because when I was teaching here, the Lord showed me that, that one there, that one there, it's not only her. It's a family thing. Yeah. It attacks the females in the family. Huh? Yes. Prophesy, Papa. But tonight, God will give you a garment of praise. Amen. Someone say garment of praise. Garment of praise. Come on, say garment of praise. Garment of praise. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Whether you've ever been in a praise team or before, I don't know. Huh? In what, sorry? In a, have you ever sang in a praise team? Me. Part of a press team. In high school. In high school. <laughs> Prophesy! You see, that thing is in you. That press thing is in you. Yes. People don't know that you can sing. But me, as a, when I'm looking at you in the speed, I'm seeing someone who was part of a press team, but hasn't pursued it. I just um, like self-confident, so I just never bothered. You used to be so confident. Very. 
very confident. But now, people don't know that you can sing. But they say the thing, the praise thing is in you. Yeah. I want you to begin to cultivate it again. Are you hearing me? Yeah. I banish depression from your family, from your sisters, from your parents, from your mom. Any female in your family will never be attacked by depression again. Amen. This is an unction of the spirit. Jesus' name. The Receive your freedom. Set you free. I set your mouth front. Every person in your family, whoever has been attacked by depression, today I banish that depression in the mighty name of Jesus. Be released in Jesus' name. I break its chains. Be loosed. I demand every female be let go now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Jesus name. Someone say I connect. I connect. Shut I connect. I connect. We know, we know. Okay, we need to close the service. Now. Prophesy! Go deeper! Can I prophesy? Prophesy! Coma, dot, dot, dot. To be continued on Sunday. Oh, yes. If you want prophecy, be here on Sunday. Hello, if you want prophecy, be here on Sunday. I'm, I'm doing small, small. I'm telling you, small, small. I'm waiting for the day my spiritual father will say, Sonny, now start. Oh, yes, amen. Oh, now yes. Son of Major One. Prophesy. <laughs> Thank you so much, everyone, for being here. And those on Zoom, those on YouTube, those on Facebook, wherever you connected from, there's no distance in the spirit. No distance at all. You are here. I am there where you are. Oh, we yes. are all connected to the one and the same Holy Ghost. Oh, yes. The supernatural network of God. So what God has done for us here has done for you right there in your home on Facebook, on YouTube, but also those on Zoom. So I'll be seeing you on Sunday at 10 a.m. Don't miss that service for anything else. I'm telling you, it's a service to be remembered. Amen. This is Prophet Judge Nyasul. I love you all. And shalom. shalom.
This has been a live broadcast from Streams International Prophetic Church with Prophet Gerald Mayasuna, the Revelator. We know that you have been blessed. If you would like to partner with this ministry by becoming a kingdom financer and take this great prophetic revelation to the entire world, please text GIVE to plus 61-4277-46537 or send an email to hello at streams.org.au. If you've been looking for a church to call home, then look no further. You are welcome to join this great prophetic family. We have campuses located in Adelaide, Brisbane, Port Moresby, Townsville and Sydney. We are looking forward to hosting you again soon in our next broadcast. In the meantime, please share this link with your family members and friends. Streams International Prophetic Church, transforming lives by the power of prophetic revelation. Your lives will never be the same again. Please remain connected at www.streams.org.au and you can reach us by emailing hello at streams.org.au or calling 1300-361-971. Until next time... Shalom.